When rebooting a beloved fictional universe led by a borderline omnipotent god, a traumatized adult orphan in a bat costume, and a goddess from an island of only women, our top priority, of course, should be a series starring a wrestler with a chrome toilet bowl on his head. Hi y'all, Snarky J Cosplay here. It's no secret if you've been on this channel before that I am not a big fan of James Gunn or just about any of his plans for the DCU he's rebooting. But this week it became increasingly obvious to me that this guy has DC's priorities all kinds of f***ed up and I think that we should now start laying our favorite characters to rest because th they're doomed, I'm sorry, they're doomed. Before I get into the meat and potatoes of today's rant, I have some exciting news to share. Make Make sure you subscribe and stay tuned to my next couple of videos because I'm going to be giving one of these babies away. That's right, your very own Snarky J 2024-2025 calendar. And if you didn't ask for this, I don't want to hear it. In the event that a cosplay girl calendar confuses you, it's basically just 12 months of pictures of me. That way you never get tired of me as the year progresses. So make sure you are subscribed and make sure you click that bell icon and stay tuned to all my upcoming videos so that you might be able to get your hands on 12 months of Snarky J to go through 2024 with. Anyway, so we all know that James Gunn is chronically online and I'm pretty sure if you tweet just about anything at him, he'll probably either reply or block you. I have made several tweets or whatever you call them now that Twitter is called X about getting cast as Catwoman and have heard no reply, so we'll, uh, we'll figure out what that means. But anyway, as we've all heard, unless you've been living under a rock, the WGA part, as in the Writers Guild part, of the current strikes in Hollywood just ended last week. Of course, SAG-AFTRA is supposedly now undergoing talks to finalize that part of the strike, but the writers are now going back to work, which means we're gonna start seeing a lot more writing starting to happen. Now, a recent exchange in James Gunn's comment section showed that he is already back to work working on season two of Peacemaker. A fan made a comment saying season two please and James Gunn got back to them letting them know that he is already writing it right now. My issue with that is the following. James Gunn is now at the helm of DC Studios and we've been under a strike for I think like five months or something like that, don't quote me, but we've been on a strike for a very long time in terms of like Hollywood time. So we've had this strike where nobody's been able to write anything, which means Superman Legacy, Batman the Brave and the Bold, all these projects that James Gunn promised were gonna happen have basically been on pause even as far as writing goes because we've had the WGA and SAG-AFTRA all striking. Now if I knew that in the next two years I needed to have a big Superman movie out in order to basically resurrect my dead fandom and studio. Well, the minute I got the okay, I would sit down at the old drawing board, I guess the writing board. I would sit down and get right to work working on the script and the whole story for Superman Legacy. Because let's face it, Superman and Batman are the two most relevant guys to DC. So why would James Gunn not immediately say that he was working on that? No, what he's doing instead is working on season two of Peacemaker. Now, according to James Gunn, season two of Peacemaker is actually going to take place in his new continuity, and the whole reboot thing supposedly will be readdressed in season two. So we can kind of look at this two different ways. On the one hand, we can consider that James Gunn might be using an already successful DC project that he's sort of been at the head of. He might be using season two of Peacemaker as sort of a jumping off point for the rebooted DCU. After all, it's already sort of in progress, so it might be a good way for him to sort of tie up these loose ends. Of course, that means that we're all gonna have to watch Peacemaker if we want anything else to make sense, which I'm definitely not gonna do because Marvel already taught me the hard lesson of not allowing myself to be roped into watching shit I don't want to watch just to understand the whole bigger scope of the universe thing. I'm not doing it. So we could look at him prioritizing Peacemaker as his way of prioritizing the show as a sort of jumping off point for his reboot. However, what I think is really happening is that James Gunn likes his personal 
personal little passion projects and he's just gonna subject us all to them while we wait for what's really relevant. While we wait, basically foaming at the mouths for the next Batman and wondering where the hell our next Superman movie is, this guy is gonna continue writing stories about characters that we don't give a shit about because he's edgy and knows exactly what he's doing. I mean, after all, this is the guy that did Guardians of the Galaxy and he also did The Suicide Squad, so it's obvious that he likes his little misfit characters, but like, I want Batman, I want Superman, I want the good sh I want the cream of the crop. But the cream will rise to the top, oh yeah. I don't want Peacemaker or any of this other irrelevant bullshit that he seems to be putting above everything else. At the end of the day, it seems like what's happening is we're not getting a reboot of DC. We're not getting a resurgence, a renaissance, if you want to say it that way. We're not getting a rebirth of DC, which is what we need to put these characters back on the map, and it's what we deserve! We love these characters and they basically just spent years shitting on them. Instead, we're gonna have to pay for subscription services and buy movie tickets to watch whatever the hell it is that James Gunn thinks is important because, well, it's James Gunn's world and we're all just living in it. To me, there's been such a clear lack of cohesion and good leadership in DC for years, and now we get somebody who's supposedly like a big comic book nerd, but I think he's only into the weird little stories and stuff that he can kind of make up and just subject us all to it, when really what we've been asking for is give us the DC Trinity, give us Justice League, give us all these characters and storylines that we know and love and make them good, and instead we're just getting whatever James Gunn dreams of, basically. The tweets that got him fired from Marvel in the first place are enough to let me know that I don't want to be inside James Gunn's head at all. I guess beggars can't be choosers, but I would really like to choose somebody else for this job because this just already feels like it's it's gonna be a no. <laughs> That's all from me. I've been Snarky J. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. For more Snarky J, be sure to check me out on Instagram, and if you'd like to support my content creation, feel free to subscribe to my Patreon. I will link both in the description below. And let me know your thoughts on James Gunn's DC priorities in the comments below.